October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month in the United States. And November is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month in Canada. Domestic violence is a pattern of violent behavior someone uses to control an intimate partner or family member. It may be physical, but it may also take on more subtle forms, such as emotional, verbal, or financial intimidation and control. Women are not the only victims or survivors of domestic violence. Women and men, boys and girls, including people who are transgender and people who are gender non-conforming are all targets. Women of color who are transgender are at particular risk for gender-based violence, including domestic violence. The murder rate of black women who are transgender already this year is heinous. It also includes the legacy of violence of missing and murdered indigenous women and girls in Canada and the US. In Canada, there have been almost 1,300 confirmed cases of missing and murdered women and girls since 1980, including over 350 cases between 2015 and 2019. Four out of five Indigenous women in the U.S. are affected by violence today. This epidemic of sex trafficking, sexual harassment, sexual assault, homicide, and other forms of violence committed against Indigenous women and girls is deeply interwoven with our colonial past. It is important that we honor these women and girls, not only by heart, but by our voices, by speaking up. Churches and other faith communities have an important role in raising awareness about domestic violence and all forms of gender-based violence. Within our own churches, there are abusers and those who have been abused. We are called to care for those who are affected and to work to end this scourge. That's why both of us are ambassadors for Thursdays in Black, the World Council of Churches global ecumenical campaign to resist and prevent gender-based violence. Christian leaders have a special responsibility to teach, preach, and lead in ways that do not promote or cover up domestic violence and to advocate for just policies to prevent it. As we tell the truth and model and demand accountability, we create safe spaces for people who have their own truths to tell. Of course, this isn't just a role for church leaders. All of us are called through our baptismal vocation to this work. Jesus Christ calls each Christian and the whole church to denounce and stop the beating, sexual abuse, raping and killing that take the lives and safety of people everywhere. All of us can encourage greater awareness, support the work of organizations that provide safe spaces and advocate for preventative policies at all levels of government. In 2020, Domestic Violence Awareness Month is especially important. During the pandemic of COVID-19, we have seen a spike in the pandemic of domestic violence and other gender-based violence. Reported incidents are much higher this year, beginning in March when most communities in North America went into lockdown. There are also all of the incidents that were not reported. Domestic violence involves patterns of power and control. Living with the pandemic and all its stressors has only exposed and exacerbated the patterns that were already there. This is happening in every country around the world, even as it is happening in our own communities and lives. If you or anyone you know are victimized by domestic violence, please trust your instincts. Seek help. Know that the abuse is not your fault. God's intention for you is life abundant. You are not alone. Help is available. Reach out to someone you trust, a relative, friend, or pastor. Set up a safety plan of action. And call the National Domestic Violence Hotline 1-888-799-SAFE. The number is the same in the United States and Canada. Let us pray. Holy One, you do not distance yourself from the pain of your people, but in Jesus, you bear that pain with all who suffer at others' hands. With your love, bring healing and strength to all who suffer amid domestic and other gender-based violence. And by your justice, lift them up, that in body, mind, and spirit, they may again rejoice. May the triune God empower and direct us to name the problems, ensure wise care, provide education, create accountability, 
and become courageous and wise allies in creating safe and healthy homes, congregations, and communities. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.